Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make tuna poke. Now poke is basically just a raw fish that's been seasoned. Most popular would be tuna, but there's also salmon, and I'm sure if you did some research, you'd find other poke recipes using other types of fish. Uh, now I'm making my poke a noodle bowl, so I'll be serving my poke on a buckwheat noodle called soba. It's a Japanese noodle and it is typically served cold. And we're gonna be um, mixing that soba noodle with a ponzu sauce, which is basically just like a citrusy type soy sauce, which works really, really well with the poke. Now, if you're not a noodle person, you can certainly use white rice, brown rice or multi-grain rice in your bowl. Or if you're doing like a low carb kind of diet, you can certainly use like cucumber noodles, zucchini noodles, spaghetti squash, rice cauliflower, and mixed greens or any kind of lettuce that you like. Now, like the beginning of all my tutorials, I have an ingredients page listing all the necessary ingredients and the measurements. So enough talking, let's get cooking. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have sushi grade tuna. This is a raw fish dish, so it has to be sushi grade. Make sure it's extremely fresh. Now we're gonna just cut the tuna into small bite-sized pieces or cubes. Just be careful when cutting the fish. It is a delicate fish. Um, you don't want it to break up too much. You wanna keep it in chunks or bite-sized pieces. Then just place it in a bowl and set it off to the side. Now let's cut some veggies. So here I have a scallion. I'm just cutting the tops and the bottom off and I'm gonna separate and put the green part to the side. And then we're going to slice the white part open, but not cut all the way through. We just wanna peel the different layers apart. And then we're going to julienne it or cut it into strips and take that and place it in a bowl of water to keep it nice and crunchy. Now we'll take the green part of the scallion and just slice that on the bias or on an angle and cut it into small pieces. So here I have a Vidalia onion. I'm only gonna use probably less than half. We only need about a quarter of a cup, thinly sliced and then roughly chopped. Next, I'll take half of a seedless cucumber and start cutting it on the bias or on an angle. And then we'll julienne or cut that into strips for our noodles. Here I'm using store-bought shredded carrot. We only need about a quarter of a cup. And next, I'll cut up some snow pea pods, about five or six and just julienne, or again, cut them into strips. Here I have some fresh cilantro, so I'll just roughly chop that and set it aside. You'll also need a ripe avocado, but we're gonna cut that just before serving. Now I'm gonna add soy sauce to the raw tuna, about three tablespoons. And a tablespoon of sesame oil. And I like mine spicy, so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sriracha. Next we'll need some black and white sesame seeds, about a half a tablespoon each of the white and black sesame seeds. And now we'll add the cilantro and some of the onion. Mix it up well.
and then taste it for seasoning. It could use a little bit more cilantro, so I'm gonna add some more. So now we're gonna make our ponzu sauce. So here I have instant dashi, which is a soup base, and I'll add half a teaspoon to the bowl and some soy sauce, about a quarter of a cup. And some lemon zest. And then the juice of the lemon, about two tablespoons. And then you're gonna wanna add some orange juice. I have a little mandarin orange, but you could put any kind of orange that you want in there, about a tablespoon. And here I have some mirin. So now we'll add about a tablespoon to the sauce. Mix it well. And there you have it, our sauce for our soba noodle. So here's our soba noodle. It's a buckwheat noodle, and it looks like this. And it cooks fairly quickly, about four to five minutes. So here I have some boiling water, and now we'll just add the soba noodle to the boiling water. It is unsalted. And look how quickly it starts to just melt into the water. Give it a good stir so it doesn't stick together. About five minutes have passed, so I will check the soba noodle. So it's ready, let's shut off the heat and drain, and then rinse it with some cold water to stop the cooking. Then place your soba noodle in a mixing bowl and we're gonna start adding our vegetables. So here's the cucumber. And the snow pea pod. Some of the onion. And the scallion, the white part. And the shredded carrot. Now let's mix that all together with the soba noodle. And then add our ponzu sauce. So stir it up, add a little sauce, and then give it a good mix. Now we'll cut our avocado. beautifully ripe avocado. We're gonna slice it and then cut it into little cubes. Now mix that in. Here I have a serving bowl, so I'll just put the soba noodle and vegetables in that and top it with our beautiful poke tuna. and top it with the green scallion. And now that it's plated, let's taste it. Okay, here it is guys, our tuna poke noodle bowl. Can't wait to taste it. I'm gonna try the tuna first, the poke. Mmm, so delicate. So yummy. Now, let's mix this up a little. Mm -hmm. Some of the veggies with the noodles. Whoops, there we go. Mmm. Mmm. So light and refreshing. The crunchy, raw, delicious vegetables, the avocado, the onion, the scallion. So delicious. That ponzu sauce with that citrus flavor mixes perfect with that poke. It's the perfect summer dish. It's light and refreshing, delicious, and healthy. Well, I hope you guys try and enjoy this recipe, please. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, 
subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time, bye.